All right, here we go with the former world title challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. Perhaps a little bit undersized for welterweight, but he has resided within this top five since he moved up from 55. From the moment, John, you didn't know what to expect from Gilbert Burns at 170, but he has shown that he has the ability to compete with the best, and if you aren't the best, he buzzes right through you. I was very impressed by the way he handled the Neil Magny challenge, and he looks to prove again why he is the elite of the elite in the welterweight division. And he's also a promoter's dream. A lot of people feel like eventually Gilbert Burns is going to work himself back into a championship setting. But, of course, the big fights at 170 pounds continue for one of the best from Brazil, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. felt like this was an eventuality. There were times where perhaps he and UFC President Dana White were at odds. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proving ground in the sport. You know, he is one of the biggest what-ifs of all time in regards to a UFC career. We finally get to find out. You are talking about a guy that dominated the heavyweight landscape for a really long time. Unbelievable combat sambo, great submission skills, and tremendous power in his hands. I'm so excited to see the last him. And when you talk about the Mount Rushmore of MMA, a lot of the professional fighters reserve a spot for this man, Fedor Emelianenko. We'll see how it goes for him in the Octagon team. The last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko, is ready to engage yet again. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Fedor! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee ready. for this one. Ready. Go ahead. All right, early round action here, and all eyes once again are on Gilbert Durinho Burns, the world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and yet oftentimes he says no takedowns. Oh, yeah, you see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Emelianenko. He's got to start throwing now. Hey, scramble, get up. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Burns is right back to the full mount. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And look at him attack in the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. 
arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work, and you'll get the finish. And now he's got the back. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal start. Oh! Oh, this could be over soon. Takes his back. Great defense by the defensive fighter. That was a slick transition. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. The guy starts to attack triangle. Nice punch to the head. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. His misses are entertaining. Guillotine jump. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Emilianenko getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Great shot from the top position. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Oh, again. Look, he's there again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. All right, so Emilianenko's in half guard. Now let's get a full pass. Let's get a full pass. Side control now. Under a minute now to go round one. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Fader. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Burns. Twenty seconds left. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, no. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Do you believe that this next round is underway in the previous round? Both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity. Perfect shot there, DC. And 
one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Oh, he got to his spot. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Burns in half guard. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Nice strike. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. That's a right hand. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. He passes the half. Get the ball here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Nice transition. Hey, Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Burns is in half guard now. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grapples. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Yeah, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. All right, so Emilianenko's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. So a much different approach from him here in round oh, He's got to hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Don't hesitate. Just out of range with that right hook. Another big takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger. Emilianenko's going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Emilianenko. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. Or he can slip strikes the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Fifteen seconds. A huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, he continues to bully What's his that? opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh. Two rounds in the books. 
right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Burns got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. And able to avoid the dodge there. Nice slip. Oh, that is a huge shot right there. You see, there are not too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Burns is right back to the full mount here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Fader. Well, he's got his back now. Now he's going to pull him out. Just over three minutes to go. Really starting to bleed profusely out of that eye. It's not looking good, champ. Well, it's leaking down his face. The guy's been beat up, and now this cut has become a real issue. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Burns is able to transition back to side control now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Oh! He has to evade stand space. Oh! Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What is not His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, rubber guard now, DC. Some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, plata, omo, plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should pay. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of omo platas in UFC history. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made anything, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll try to strike. He's out. What's the mission defense on this play? Oh, big pop 
from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change him. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, big left. Just missed with the left there. All right, so he'll take this. Oh! oh! Another one! Nice. There you go. Finish. 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 All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take the right to the target and see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing. <laughs> Burns, his eye is closing up. <laughs> Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. Defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice low single takedown. Million Inko's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice. Nice. Start to look to finish him now. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Now going with the elbow to the body. That one landed. Nice ground and down by Burns. He's just being more aggressive. He's going to get in that guillotine choke is getting very close. He's got to lock the guard, though, if he wants to finish. Oh, he got out! Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed. Got to be careful here. Oh. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Burns. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Change of the position. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that Von Flew choke is tight. Getting very close to finishing this Von Flew. He did a great job of beating the guard. Oh, man, that was slick. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Back kick there. That'll do it! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number four. To find the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon! All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has...